welcome to Children's Online Worship. My name is Miss Christine, and I am so glad that you have decided to join me today. So, we are now done with Easter, but believe it or not, the season of Easter is only beginning. We have entered the season called Easter Tide, which lasts for seven weeks all the way up until we celebrate something called Pentecost. Pentecost is the time when we remember when the Holy Spirit came down from heaven to be with us on earth. And the Holy Spirit is still here with us today. Jesus went up to heaven and then the Holy Spirit of God came down to be with us until Jesus comes back to earth one day. So, Eastertide, we still remember Jesus and the teachings of Jesus. So during these seven weeks, you'll probably be hearing stories about more of the parables or the stories that Jesus told. But Jesus was on earth for a while between his resurrection when he came back to life after he was killed and the time he ascended or went back up, ascend means up, before he went back up to heaven. He was on earth for a little while and he stopped and talked to his disciples a couple times and he did a whole bunch of other things while he was on the earth before he went up to be back with God. So, that's what we're going to be talking about the next few weeks. We'll be talking about different stories, and during the Eastertide season, we will definitely be focusing more on Jesus. So, today, I want to ask you, what types of treasures do you have? What types of things do you own that you absolutely love. Maybe you have a favorite toy. Maybe you have a favorite food. Maybe you have a favorite dessert. Maybe you have a favorite pair of pajamas. Something that you really treasure. Not that you just like, that you absolutely love. Well, we're going to talk about treasure today. They're going to talk about that on the Journey Today show. And so go ahead and watch. And I will be back with you at the end to talk more about treasure. After years of searching, I finally found it. The ancient gummy bear of Giza. Camille, you do not want to go out there. David, what was that? That is the T-Rex that's been chasing me all the way from Egypt. A T-Rex? Why would a T-Rex be chasing you? Oh, I think it's because I took her gummy bear. You what? It's not just any gummy bear, though. It's the ancient gummy bear of Giza. 
I'm going to be the most famous treasure hunter in the world. Okay, yeah, that's great, but have you seen my bag? I left it right here on the desk. Uh, oh, uh, is it the one with the S on it? Uh, looks like somebody crossed it out a couple of times. David, that wasn't a crossed out S. That was a dollar sign. Oh yeah, that's the one. I used it to replace the gummy bear on the pedestal. Oh, it didn't work though. The bag was way too heavy and it triggered an ancient booby trap. Uh, yeah, the bag was heavy because it was filled with the Aztec gold I found while treasure hunting in Mexico. What? <laughs> One hour later. <laughs> One more hour later. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You mean to tell me that I traded a bag full of gold for a 4,000 year old stale gummy bear? Yep, that's pretty much what just happened. Oh, I can't believe it, Camille. You found the greatest treasure in the world and I just gave it away. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it, it was a pretty good treasure, but I'm not sure I would say it was the greatest treasure in the world. You know of a better one? What are we waiting for? Let's go find it. Well, okay, let's do it. Awesome. Do you have a treasure map? Actually, I do. You hid the map in the JTS Bible? Well, no, not exactly. You see, the Bible is the map. It tells us where to find the greatest treasure ever. Okay, is there an X that marks the spot? Ooh, I'll bet it's in the book of Exodus because that starts with an X. No, actually it doesn't. And if any book marks the spot, it's the book of Matthew. That's where today's story came from. I'm so confused. Yeah, I can tell. It'll probably help if we read the story. So let's do this. In just a second, press pause on the video, then open your Bible and read the verse on the screen. Wait, did you say verse? Like just one verse? Yup, just one verse. It's the shortest story we've ever read in the history of JTS. Okay, well, let's get started, and I guess we'll see you back here in just a little bit. Um, that's a little bit too far. It's a little bit back this way. Uh, okay, now we went too far. Uh-oh, Camille. They're already back, and I haven't even found the verse yet. You know what? That's okay. How about this? Just for today, we can read the story from the screen. Here's what it says. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure that was hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again. He was very happy. So he went and sold everything he had, and he bought that field. Oh, I get it. So we just have to find that field and then we'll be rich. No, David, that's not what it's saying. You see, this is a parable. A parable is a story that Jesus made up to teach a lesson. Uh, okay, so what's the lesson? That's a good question. But I think we should figure it out with a little treasure hunt of our own. What do you mean? What kind of treasure hunt? It's a seek and find. And here's the best part. Everyone can play. In just a minute, I'll show you a drawing with hidden pictures in it. When you see the drawing, you'll have a short time to find each picture. You ready to give it a try? Sure, uh, what's the first picture? What are we looking for? Okay, we're going to start off kind of hard. For the first round, you need to find the number one. You ready to go? Let's do it. All right, here's the drawing. How'd you do? Oh man, that was really hard. I, I don't think I found it. That's okay. 
Let me show you where it is. You see, this hidden picture helps us remember that God is number one. He's the creator and the king of everything everything. But more than that, God is perfect. That's what makes him different from us. He has never made a mistake and he has never sinned. So when we see a number one, let's remember that God is perfect. Okay. Number one equals God is perfect. You got it. All right. Let's find the next picture. You'll have a few seconds to find three hearts starting now. Did you find them? Oh man, I found two for sure, but I couldn't find the last one. That's okay, good job though. Here's where they are. These hearts help us remember that not only is God perfect, he loves you more than anything in the world. In fact, he loves you so much that he wants to be with you every day of your life and even after you die. When you die, God wants to spend forever with you in heaven. So when we see a heart, let's remember, he loves me. Okay, the heart means he loves me. Right on. All right, let's find the next picture. For round three, you have to find the earth starting now. Time's up, how'd you do? I totally found that one. Nice, okay, let's show everyone else where it is. This is the world we live in. There's a problem with it though. It's filled with sin. In fact, the Bible says that we all sin and fall short of God's glory. We tell lies, we cheat, we disobey our parents. Yeah, and worst of all, the punishment for our sin is death and forever separation from God. Since God is perfect and we're not, we can't be with him in heaven. That's right. So when we see the world, let's remember that sin separates us. Okay. The world means sin separates us. Got it. All right. Let's find the next picture. For round four, I want you to find the cross. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. You have just a few seconds starting now. Did you find it? Yep, it's on top of the lid. Yeah, you got it. Even though we're the ones who sinned and deserve to die, God loves us so much that he gave his perfect son to die in our place. Jesus took the punishment that should have been ours. He died on a cross so that our sins could be forgiven. But did he stay dead? No way. Last week, we heard how God raised Jesus from the dead. And if you believe that in your heart, your sins are forgiven and you can once again be with God forever. Right. So whenever you see the cross, remember that Jesus died for you. All right. The cross means Jesus died for me. Nice. Now I'm going to show you each picture one at a time. And let's see if you can remember what they all mean. God is perfect. He loves me. Sin separates us, but Jesus died for me. Awesome job, you did it. But here's the best thing about these pictures. They remind us of a really famous Bible verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Hey, I think I get it now. The greatest treasure ever is life with God in heaven. That's what the man in the story was looking for. Yeah, and here's the best part. Heaven is a treasure that any one of us can seek and find. That's right. In fact, 
That's what today's Bible verse tells us. It says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Matthew 7, 7. Hey, that makes me think of a question. Why do you think life with God in heaven is the greatest treasure ever? What do you think heaven is like? Press pause and discuss. Hey everybody, welcome back. When you ask God for forgiveness, it will be given to you. When you seek for eternal life, you will find it. And when you knock on the door to heaven, it will be open to you. That's right. Life with God in heaven is the greatest treasure ever, and you can find it today. In fact, let's do one last seek and find to figure out how. Awesome. Uh, what are we looking for? For this last round, I want you to find the letters A, B, and C. You have a short time starting now. How'd you do? Well, I found a ton of C's, and I found the B too, but I didn't find the A. That's okay, good work. Let me show you where they are. Finding the greatest treasure ever is as easy as A, B, C. Let me explain. The A stands for admit. If you want to become a Christian, you have to admit that you sin and ask God for forgiveness. God loves you so much, he'll forgive you no matter how much you've sinned. The B stands for believe. Believe that Jesus died for your sins. When we believe Jesus died for our sins, we can be forgiven. And finally, the C stands for choose. Choose to follow Jesus for the rest of your life. Choose to live your life the way he wants you to instead of how you want to. Admit, believe, choose. If you've never done that before, you can do that right now. Yeah, and if you need help, you can ask your parents or a leader at church. For sure. Just know that following Jesus is the best decision you could ever make. Well, folks, I had a ton of fun today. I hope you did too, and I hope you'll join us again next week. Yeah, everybody, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye, everybody. Oh, I think I broke my tooth. Wow, that thing really is old and stale. Hot dog! Hot chicken dog! Welcome back. So, you're probably not surprised to find that our real treasure is found in heaven. Our real treasure is life with God and Jesus in heaven forever and ever and ever and ever. That is the best treasure. It is worth more than anything here on earth. So, here's your challenge for this week. Every time that you see something that reminds you of money or treasure or something that you love, just stop and think a little thank you to God for God's love and God's treasure in heaven. So thank God for our treasure in heaven. That's your challenge for this week. Let's close out with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you so much for the treasures that you give us here on earth. We know that you want us to have good things and you want us to use our treasure to do good works and to do good things with the things you have given us. But help us to always remember our most valuable treasure is with you in heaven forever. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.
All right. Well, I hope you have a fabulous week and I hope you choose to come back next week and find out what crazy shenanigans they decide to do on the Journey Today show and to learn more about Eastertide. So until I see you next time, bye-bye. <laughs>